Hey, good afternoon again, good evening. The sun is going down still, and my lighting's getting more bizarre, and I think the phone's trying to figure it out, so it keeps changing the lighting on us. I'm sorry. I don't know what it's doing. Um, chapters 9 and 10, vocabulary, lesson number 2. And as you will see on your page, when because you'll be watching this when you have your paper, Nana's numbering is really wonky. Yes, very, very wonky. I'm having, I was having some issues when I was doing that one that day too. Um, yeah, Nana's just having some issues. It's okay, we all have troubles. <laughs> We're not perfect. <laughs> Good enough is good enough sometimes, and, and good enough is good enough a lot of times. Pretty much always. I think so. I think always. Good enough is always good enough. Kind of like this video. It's hopefully going to be good enough, and it won't drive your eyeballs too crazy. So, number one, capricious. The first blank for number one is capricious. C-A-P-R-I-C-I-O-U-X. C A P R I C I O U S. Capricious. One more time. For the, your first blank in number one. C A P R I C I O U S. And that's showing wit. So your second blank is wit. W I T. Wit. W I T. W I T. Wit. Or fancy. Fancifulness. I'm going to turn on this light and see if that helps. What do you think? I'm going to do that really good. I don't think it helped at all. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> number four. It's, it's number two on your, it's the second one on your paper. But it's, in all actuality, it is number four. So, it is, it's your fourth on your list. So, it's prolificate, and it's immoral and shameless. Prolificate is P-R-O-F-L-I-G-A-T-E. Prolificate. 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 P-R-O-F-L-I-G-A-T-E. And it's immoral and sh or shame. Immoral and shameless, and you only have that one blank for number four, which is your second one. I know that got confusing, didn't it? Number two, ducal or ducal of a leader. So their first blank for number two is ducal. D U C A L. D U C A L. D U C A L, and that is of a leader. L E a D E R L E A D E R Number three is Licentius Licentius L I C E N T I O U S L I C E N T I O U S and that's morally unrestrained is your second blank for number three. Unrestrained. U N R E S T R A I N E D. Unrestrained. U N R E S T R a I N E D. Unrestrained. So, uh, Licentius, Licentius is morally unrestrained. Number five is essayed, and that's to attempt. So, your first blank for no, the number five there is essayed. E S S A Y E D. E S S. A Y E D S A E S S A Y E D to attempt. An attempt is your second blank for number five, which is spelled A T T E M P T. A T T 
E M P T attempt. Number seven, and as you can see, I said Nana is having some issues today <laughs> on your paper. I even wrote it. So number seven is um, Jeanette. Any Jeanette? Any breed of small Spanish horse, and that is J E N N E T. J E N N E T. And I was so frustrated with frustrated with myself. I only gave you one blank. J E N N E T. Jeanette. Any breed of small Spanish horse. Number six. Predilection. P R E D I L E C T I O N. P R E D I L E C T I O N. To prefer. P R E D I L E C T I O N. L E C T I O N. And it's akin to predestination. I got it. <laughs> I know last video for lesson two, I, or for lesson one, I could not get it. I could not, in the reading of the list, I couldn't get predestination in, it, I just couldn't get it. Um, and that's, you know, uh, a con it's a concept in the Bible where, um, God has chosen us before time began. He predestined us to be in Christ. And that's like a whole other can of worms. But you just need to know for your lesson that those same, the predilection to prefer and to prefer, prefer before is akin to predestination. Those two words are akin to each other, okay? Number eight, Estrada. E S T R A D A. Estrada. E S T. R A D A Estrada. Oh, my motion detector light just went out, and so you noticed that I'm sure on the video. E S T R A D A. E S T R A D E D A D A. And that was the Spanish form of the Diaz, the raised platform. And oh, Diaz is the last blank for number eight, and that is spelled D A I S. D-A-I-S. Last blank for number eight is D-A-I-S. Last blank, last word. I need a drink. Excuse me, please. Okay. Number nine. Necromancer. N-E-C-R-O-M-A-N-C-E-R-S. Necromancers. N E C R O M A N C E R S Necromancers. One more time. N E C R O M A N C E R S Necromancers. And that's a wizard or magician who communicates with the dead. Hang on for number 10 and then I'll take it inside so we don't have this wonky lighting anymore, okay? Number 10. Kabbalist. Kabbalist. And I don't know why it starts with a C and the other word starts with a K. I, I don't know. I have no good reason for that. But it's C-A-B-A-L-I-S-T-S. -S. Kabbalist. C-A-B-A-L-I-S-T-S. -S. C-A-B- a L I S T S, a follower of the ancient Jewish mystical tradition of Kabbalah. Okay, and that is it for lesson two. Grandpa Scott just sent a text, that's what I was swiping up, and that he shot at Doe and they didn't find her. He's probably texting with you about it though, as this is in real time, and by the time you get the video, you'll already know. Anyway, I love you. I'll see you for lesson three. We're going inside though, okay?